Hello, Otto Connor here. How are you today? How was your February? Did you have a great time? Did it go as fast as it has gone for me? I quite personally don't know where February went. I thought a February art haul video might be quite fun for the end of the month. So here are some of the stuff I bought this month. So first of all, if you've watched my Plan With Me March video, you'll know that I bought these Tombow pens very recently almost half price for these ones. It was in a clearance at Cass Arts website and I grabbed it because they are usually really expensive. Whereas because it was almost half price, it was rather affordable and I'm very, very happy with it. And then these Tombow mono drawing pens are going to be replacing all my Micronini pens because for me, they work really well. I find them so much easier to draw and right with and these pens and these brushes are now going to be in my arsenal of bullet journaling so my bullet journals might get more colorful next up are these aurelian paints i already had about three different colors of aurelian but i got really interested in the properties of aurelian and it's light fastness. I already had two traditional Aurelians and one hue of a Aurelian and I wanted to be thorough in my videos so I bought another traditional Aurelian because I know you guys love Daniel Smith and you will want to know what it looks like. And then I also bought four Aurelian hues which don't have the same pigment but kind of trying to look like an Aurelian. You can see that I've already had a play with these paints and I'm just running the light fastness test right now and so hopefully I'll be able to bring the video about Aurelian to you very soon. Next up are some Daniel Smith colors. These are new colors to me. I was watching Eve Bolt's Autumn palette she made last year and she had these colors in and I was like whoa wow they're so beautiful I have to have them so I bought them and they are Rose of Ultramarine in Danthrone Blue the Deep Sap Green and Ultramarine Turquoise and these are lovely and here are the color switch I did for them they are really lovely colors, really intense. Most of them are pretty transparent, although the deep sap green, I wouldn't call it transparent. I would say that's opaque, but these three, I am gonna have to find homes for them in my new transparent watercolor palette that I put together last week. In particular, the Rose of Ultramarine. I'm not sure if the camera's picking up how it's like, purple and blue at the same time so that's really really interesting texture and I, I just I just really like these colors and I was saying in my palette video that I didn't have many dark colors or colors that could make a dark mix so these will be a great addition to my palette talking of palette I actually got a new watercolor palette if you watched me swatch all my color mixes in my my transparent watercolor palette video you saw me start off with these these were what i used to use as palettes these are just plates from ikea and they're great until you have to mix a lot of colors and they're also not very space efficient on my table this week i went into wilco's which is one of my favorite shops, but they tend to be in the north of England, mostly. I didn't know they made it to Scotland, but I found one and I had a very good shopping day. And one of the things I found was this, uh, just plate, serving plate, medium, and it was five pounds, which is just like so good. And this was perfect. It was flat, which is what I wanted, and it's rectangular, so it fits in my painting desk perfectly. So I bought two of these because, you know, it's, it's, it's ceramic, it can break. And if you saw my swatching video, I swapped out the round plate for this plate, and it's so it was so much easier. It's brilliant, I love it. I'm gonna be sticking with these. A first for me this month is that I bought a art print 
from another YouTuber. I've never bought an art print off online because you don't really know what they're gonna look like, but I saw Eve from Eve Bolts print on Etsy and this was just so, so ridiculously adorable that I just had to get one. And her prints are very, very reasonably priced. So if you want an adorable cat print, I highly recommend her shop. I, I just I just love all her cat drawings. I think they are so adorable. You can tell she's a cat lover. She has two cats. I don't know, I think that she captures the essence of cute catness and there's a sense of humor about her cats as well. So I adore her cat prints. Eve, if you're watching this, please make more cat prints because I will buy all of them. And she sent this cute, adorable sticker with it. And she also sent me this sample of... She hand makes watercolors and these two look pearlescent. So I am going to be having a great time trying these paints out. And as soon as she gets them back in stock on her Etsy shop, I am going to buy her handmade paint. By the way, if I sound like I'm fangirling completely over Eve, that's because I am. And then just yesterday, this, this little beauty came, if you're wondering. It's a cushion. It's a very bright cushion. And if it looks familiar to you, that's because this is my own art. I got curious about starting Society6 and I didn't want to start a Society6 shop before trying them out myself. I believe in providing high quality service even if that's through a third party. So I wanted to make sure that what they make is of good quality. And so I placed an order with a test art that I put up. By the way, um, I haven't got a society six shop yet this was just a test to see what they were like and it's it's great i love that and it's really well made the fabric is nice and thick the colors are as bright as i'd hoped they would be and the zips are hidden really nicely this is really hard to do, you guys. So I am really happy with the product. However, what I wasn't quite happy with was A, their shipping price because they make everything in the US and ship it to you. So to get it shipped to Scotland is ridiculously expensive. And then I got hit by a custom charge. And that's fine for me to do a test run, but I don't want that kind of experience for you guys. If you ever feel like buying one of my artworks through a third party like Society6, I think Society6 is great if you live in America, but anywhere else, I just don't want you guys to have to pay a fortune on shipping and then fortune on customs on top. So I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna investigate Redbubble because I know they have certainly cheaper shipping because what they do is they create the product as close as possible to their customers. So I assume if you're ordering from the UK, then they'll make it somewhere in Europe. And I much prefer that. Probably the future plan is to have both Society6 and Redbubble or something like that so that people living in America can get a great deal and great quality product with my artwork on it. But also people who don't live in America will get a great product with very reasonable shipping and hopefully no custom charges because, you know, custom charges are never pleasant to pay. So next month I am going to put a red bubble order in and see what the quality for them is like to make sure that their quality matches Society6 so it doesn't matter which site you guys decide to buy my artwork from. It will just be whatever is convenient and cheaper for you guys to order from. And then one final big shopping I did this month, not art related but big news is that my husband and I decided to get a hamster. Her name is Jazz and she is eight weeks old. She is a black Syrian hamster. We had no intention of buying a hamster, but we did end up with a hamster. And maybe I'll make a video about that another time. She is settling in beautifully. I am so surprised at how well and quickly she has settled in. However, there's no video as I want her to uh, get used to interacting with us first 
I've had a few hamsters before, but it's my husband's first hamster and it's kind of adorable watching him be like owning hamsters for the first time. So I'm enjoying both jazz and seeing my husband grow to love jazz. I hope this video was inspiring for you to try out new art supplies. I will leave links to all the items shown in this video. And if you have any questions about any of the items, then please ask away in the comments because I love talking about art supplies with you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.